Southerner back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. Hope y'all have all had a great week. I have had a great week and I found quite a few things this week so I'm very excited about that. So let me start off with the things that I will be keeping for myself and my family. So first off I went to a garage sale on Friday. Um, I did go to a retreat at my church with my mother-in-law this weekend so I only got to do about an hour of garage sales on Saturday but luckily there were a couple of good ones so here's what I found at the first one she had a bunch of she had a bunch of beauty items and so I got quite a few things there so the first thing I got is from perfectly posh and it is a skin stick deja vu with hemp oil and shea butter and it's just a solid stick and it was brand new I got it for a dollar and then the second item I got is also perfectly posh and it's brand new. I believe I did pull the thing off so I could smell it. Yeah, I opened it up, but it smells really good. It's called Fresh Creamy Milk Body Butter with Shea Butter, Milk Thistle, and Bamboo. And this stuff is a little pricey, so I was really glad to get that. I also got this little poopery for 50 cents. If you guys don't know what this is, you spray it in the toilet before you poop and it is traps that scent and this smells like um lemon original citrus so lemon bergamot and lemongrass i got that for 50 cents and the other thing i got was this vinyl lux cnd vinyl lux weekly polish it's supposed to last seven days I don't, I got it for a dollar. I don't know that I'll use this color. It's pink bikini. Might put it on my toes. Um, I don't know that I would wear this bright of a pink on my, on my, um, fingernails. But we shall see. For a dollar. I wasn't going to pass it up. And then this is the thing that I'm most excited about because you guys, I paid two dollars for this. It is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I'm sorry, one of my dogs is on the bed. Might have to go get him off. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Had to deal with some dog issues. But anyway, this is the Sweet Peach Palette. Got it for $2. Um, it is missing one color, peaches and cream. I don't know what color that was. It looks like it broke and fell out. And then the Talk Derby to me, which is like a glittery black is messed up, but I am never gonna use a glittery black anyway, so I do not care. The rest are barely used. She said she messed up that one, and so she went and bought another one. It is bent, but again, I don't care. So I was stoked about that. And then I bought a grab bag for $2.99, I think. And I already opened it up and threw some of the stuff away. A lot of it was like travel toothpaste and like shampoo and stuff like that. But I saw these couple of things and they were well worth $3 to me. So this what is a buff and polish cloth. It says revolutionary polishing cloth. Instantly imparts a long lasting mirror like shine to platinum, gold, and sterling silver. Rub treated side of cloth over jewelry to remove tarnish and small scratches. Small scratches. Small scratches. So that came in at Jewelish Secret, and then also I got some polishes. So I got this OPI. Hey, hey baby. It's like a purpley pink. That will definitely be a polish for my daughter. As will this one. It's called Designer Series Passion. It's also OPI. It's like a glittery, it's actually like a duochrome kind of thing. It's actually pretty, but again, not something I'm going to probably wear. And then this one also for my daughter. This is from Del Sol. We've taken cruises before. There's always a Del Sol at like every cruise port. And all their stuff changes color in the sun. And this is Color Change Glitter Nail Polish. Changes color in the sun. So that'll be fun for her. And then the last one is very pretty and something I might wear on my toes again. I don't know if it's OPI. It's China Glaze. China Glaze Bing Cherry. Very pretty color for winter. 
So got those. That same garage sale where I got the first posh stuff and the Too Faced uh, palette, I got a couple of shirts. So I got this really cute red shirt. It's got interesting sleeve here. Got that, that was $2. Another garage sale on Saturday and it got dirty. Um, I mean, not that I wasn't gonna wash it anyway, but it's kind of dusty. It is, there's so much pollen here right now, you guys. It's actually got pollen on it. It is a t-shirt with a little cute, like, bottom. I liked the cut of it. I have a shirt that's similar to this, and I'm hoping it's gonna fit me the same way. I don't know, I hope y'all can see the whole thing. That was a dollar. And last but not least for us, I got this at a thrift store. Thrift store. Yes. And it is a winter coat for my little one. It's an L.L. Bean, and the size is 10, 12. She's in a 7, 8 right now, so super cute. L.L. Bean blue is her favorite color, so I know this was probably a boy's jacket, but she will like this. She does not, like, want a pink jacket or something like that. She likes these kind of colors, so this teal will be perfect. L.L. Bean in the back. Uh, zip off hood. So I was excited about that. I believe that was a dollar. Same, the same garage sale that had the stuff that I got my shirts at, they also had a couple of little shirts for heart, my daughter. So that one, I think they were 25 cents each. And this little one. Okay, now on to what I'll be selling. And y'all, I'm sorry if my dog barks in the background. There are workers working across the street and they have already ripped a board off of our fence to try to get to them. They're not vicious dogs, but they get, I don't know, they get excited. And um, so they're in their kennel right now. One of them's not happy about that. So I'm sorry. I'll try to cut it out, but okay. So this was a shirt I got for myself that ended up being too small. It's just a, like a chiffon or spray on, something like that. Um, button up so that is cute but it was a little too tight I could probably wear it unbuttoned it was just too tight through the chest I sale where I found all that stuff for me I also found these and what I would not give for them to be in my size but they are not if y'all are familiar with the brand Sorrel these are expensive boots they make leather boots they make these kind of duck boots. These are awesome. These are sorrel. They're totally waterproof. They're in great condition. I believe they're size six. Yeah, they're size six, so they're tiny. Love them. I believe I paid a dollar or two dollars for those. Garage sale. I paid a dollar for this Clinique Happy. I love this perfume, but my husband does not care for the way it smells. So I bought it for myself, but I'm probably going to end up selling it. It's about halfway full. So if anyone's interested in that. And it has not turned. Like, you know, it, it still smells good. The thing I got at the same place I got this week. Peach Palette is this Chanel uh, for, uh, I think it's called Le, Le Ombre, Le Four Ombres. And the color is Candour et Experience. And it's in great condition. Um, there, it's barely used. I just need to clean it. The only thing is it's got little indents and I was trying to figure out what that was and also why there was so much on this because it it's not it's not been used that much. What I think happened is this got loose in there and jumped around and got dirty and also pressed into I don't know if y'all can see that pressed into the actual shadows. But they are all barely used. So that will be for sale as well. And the colors are beautiful. There's like a two different shades of brown and like a creamy tan and then a beautiful color like a, let's see what they call it. Oh, they don't, they don't say. So anyway, very pretty. These guys, they are Talbots. They were $2 and they were from the thrift store, uh, Goodwill. 
They are barely been used. They're beautiful. If they were my size again, I would wear them. But they are not. They're sevens. Seven narrow. Uh, seven narrow? Seven narrow. I was super excited about this next item. I did pay $13 for it, but it's actually still selling online for almost 200 in different colors. Could not find it in this color. This is a Radley of London purse. Hopefully the color comes off right. It's a, like an eggplant, deep purple. Really, really beautiful. This purse, I don't think it's ever been used. It has no wear on it. It's still got the little Scotty dog. It, you've got your Radley of London here. Um, you've got a great back pocket. This would be a wonderful travel little purse. Um, let's see if I can show you all the inside. It is in perfect condition. So great find. Also ran across uh, at garage sales this the sack purse and it's really really pretty you've got your brown leather and then you've got your brown glittery panel here and here really really pretty and of course most of them have the cloth strap you've got a shoulder protector there which is a very nice touch little back pocket it zips got your braided bit and your typical inside sack interior and then this little front part I found this guy and I was hoping to have a chance to wash it before I filmed the video but I did not get a chance so I will be cleaning this purse and in my experience coach purses clean up beautifully beautifully so I have every um, expectation that this is going to look gorgeous when I get done with it, but it is very dirty right now. This is a beautiful bag. This is Coach. Like, this is what I love about Coach. Like, look at the details on here and how chunky and gorgeous all of this is. This is a tan leather. There is a little nick right there, I noticed, but other than that, everything else, as far as I can tell, is in great condition. Beautiful, beautiful leather detailing. Um, the the uh, cloth is very dirty. Very, very dirty. Um, I don't, it will, I'll be able to tell a little better once it's clean, but it looks like the only place I can see where there's any issue with the actual fabric is one little pick right here. Again, it's easier to tell once the fabric's clean if there are any other issues. There might be a couple of issues on the top edge here, like here. So beautiful, beautiful bag. I did pay $10 for it, but I know it's gonna clean up beautifully. There's your Creed. Interior's like a cream. You've got your nice zipper. So really, really pretty. I will post pictures of this on the Facebook group once I clean it. Or if you're interested, you can post about it and as soon as I clean it, you'll be first in line to um, buy it or not. What is it called? First right of refusal. So that's that. And then this last thing, you guys, I cannot believe that I found this. And all of the research I have done is showing me that this is an authentic bag. I was not familiar with this bag, but I could tell by looking at it that it was a extremely high quality piece of uh, purse, that it was an extremely high quality purse, okay? So I looked it up. This was a originally like $2,600 purse, you guys. It is a Thomas Wilde Skull Bag. And if you've not heard of Thomas Wilde, very expensive designer. A lot of his stuff has got skulls on it. Here's this. So, I got it for $4 at the thrift store. Okay, I checked the nameplate. I checked the interior zipper right here. Should have Riri on the inside. It does. All the hardware, super high quality. This is definitely real leather. Um, the interior is the right weight of fabric. The satin is the right weight. 
So I am blown away. Um, here's the back side. So here are the issues with it. It does have a few issues. So the pulls are all supposed, they're supposed to be a pull on every tab that has these little skulls. There is only one. So this one is missing. And the one to the zipper is missing. Now what I would do is I would just put the one with the skulls here and then I would just tie some brown leather down here, just some strips. That's what I would do. There's also supposed to be like a big tag here. It's almost like a luggage tag that's got a skull on it. That's not here, but that's what that hook was for. And then there are some studs missing. There are two studs that are loose and then there are something about 10 studs and then there are two that I can see are loose. Maybe 11, maybe 12 studs. And then there are a couple that I can see that are loose. I don't know if those could be fixed. I honestly did not notice it until I started looking really closely at it. But these are still selling for between three and 500. So even with these issues, I know that I should be able to get, you know, more than what I paid for it. So, um, I was like, I couldn't believe it. So that's one of my best finds in a while, you guys. All right, that is it. If you are interested in any of these items that I showed, please join my Facebook group. It is Thrifty Southerner Finds. I will put it right here. If you are, and then you can ask about the item. I don't post pictures or anything like that. Unless you ask, I will post pictures of the person I'm gonna clean. But other than that, you need to ask. I will answer you, give you extra photos, anything like that. If you are not a Facebooker, you can email me and I will also leave my email right here. Although I will tell you that it's a lot faster to get me via my Facebook group. So um, if you are new to my channel, I post videos like this every week along with other random videos as you can see on my channel. If you like these kind of videos, I would love to have you as a subscriber. If you like this video, y'all please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps me. And I also want to welcome all my new subscribers that I've gotten in the last few weeks. All right, you guys, I think that was my spiel. Um, until next time, again, sorry about the dogs. But until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.